Hey foodies, I love bread. I'm sure you love bread just as much as I do. And I love sinking my teeth into a fresh, homemade, warm out of the oven, artisanal loaf of bread. And Frankie's has developed this mix and it's, for lack of a better word, it's amazing. It may, you can make loaves, you can make buns, baguettes, cinnamon rolls, the list goes on and on and on. Anything that requires yeast, you need the Frankie's bread mix. And it's, it's just great. So that's what we're working with today is Frankie's bread mix. And it has the yeast, it has baking powder, it has all the ingredients that you need to make a good quality artisanal loaf of bread. And there's only two other ingredients you need, and that's water and oil. And I'm gonna show you how to make a loaf of bread. But first, we need to check out the recipe. And you'll see it's not a very big recipe. And that's what makes it so great. Because you can sit and you can make a loaf of bread in as little as, well, it takes a amount of time to watch an episode on Netflix or Disney Plus or Amazon Prime or any of those shows. So here we go. So we're gonna add our flour. We're gonna add our water. And the water needs to be tepid. So it needs to be quite warm. And our salad oil. And I'm using a light vegetable oil. You don't want anything too heavy because you don't want the bread to feel heavy. And now I'm going to start by slowly mixing it. And then we're gonna really beat it for a good two minutes. There we go. This looks exactly what it's supposed to look like. It's, it's a lot goopier than what most traditional bread mixes or bread recipes call for, and that's because it's gluten-free. And so when you're baking it, think of it like you're baking a cake, but it's gonna turn into a bread. Because with gluten-free flour, you don't have to worry about the gluten developing or making things tough, and you don't have the gluten to help you with, with it rising, and that's why it's a little bit on the, on the wetter side. There we go, oh, look at that. You can see how fluffy and light it already is. I mean, it's just, it's really light and airy. So I'm just gonna scoop this into a parchment paper lined loaf pan. And it's important to line your, your loaf pan with a bit of parchment paper because you don't want it, it shouldn't stick, but you don't want it to stick because then it gets really tough to get out. And I didn't bother doing the two ends because I can always just run the knife down the one end and the other end and it'll just pop out then. It certainly doesn't look like a loaf of bread right now. Okay. So I'm going to spread this out as fast as I can with the spatula and use this to scrape it. Okay. It's looking pretty good so far. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the next step we're going to make perfect. We have wetted hands and we're just pressing down lightly on the loaf to smooth it all out. And because my hands are wet, the dough doesn't stick to my hands. I just, you can see I'm smoothing at all the edges and I'm just making it work really nice. Hands. Now, you can just leave it like it is. I'm gonna brush a little bit of milk. You can brush on a bit of oil on top. I'm just putting a little bit of milk just to add a little bit of a crust, because I like my bread crusty. And a little bit, oh, well, crusty. <laughs> okay. If you want to sprinkle it with sesame seeds or poppy seeds on the top, now's the time to do it. We're going to let it rise 
I'm gonna show some clips of what it's looking like when it's risen up to the point, and then we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it until it reaches an internal temperature of 99 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna put this in a nice warm spot and just let it rise for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. This is what true artisanal homemade baked bread is supposed to look like. Oh, it looks wonderful. Look at that. Nice body, nice texture, soft. Let's slice it right in the middle. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that loaf. It looks beautiful on the inside. It was 99 degrees Celsius on the inside and it's still moist, tender. I can't wait to make sandwiches for the kids tonight. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have meat, cheese on homemade, my homemade bread. It doesn't get much better than that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to give me a message either through, through the, the, the link in the description or just write a comment. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.